Good morning all around the world. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that the mercy and peace of God will be with you in the name of Jesus. Whoever is sick, receive your healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, we want to talk to each other. Um, actually, the Lord wants to talk to you and I from John chapter 1 verse 47 this morning. John chapter 1 verse 47. Our topic today is what does God know you for or who does God know you for who does God know you for that's better I'll read the Bible passage right now Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him before that's before he even got to him he was already telling the people around Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guilt. <clears throat> uh, behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guilt. What God is talking, what Jesus was talking about here, is that he, he it was his first time of seeing Nathaniel, but he understood that. Nathaniel was a man with no deceit. He was not a sly. He was not a man of cunning intelligence. He wasn't a man that loved to play smart. He was a man of truthfulness, a plain person, a transparent human being. One that you can see through and, and in and out. He was a man... Of noble character somebody that can be trusted a patriot that's who he was it wasn't a man that backstabs a man of plain character a man of noble character a man that had no duplicity it there's nothing false about him he doesn't deceive mm. that's who Nathaniel was there was there was nothing false in, in the being and the existence of Nathaniel. That was how good Jesus was able to recognize him. That's how good he himself was. A man of complete, absolute sincerity. Hmm. A man that even understood who he is before he even, before he even, he, 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 he even got to Jesus. A man that has already been credified already. He had not given his life to Jesus. He had not known Jesus. But he was already a man of noble discipline. A man that was holding high uh, standard of integrity. What about we ourselves? What is our excuse today for not being... Um, a man or a woman, a boy or a girl of such character as Nathaniel. Can God trust our character today? How stable is our integrity? Or is it even that we were people of integrity too before, but today we have started to lose our integrity because of how the world is? Check ourselves today. Check yourselves today. Check yourselves today. Today. Make God to be able to trust you. You need to you need God to trust you. You must be trustworthy to God. That is what credifies your heaven and your earth here. God is calling unto us that we too should become men that can be trusted by Him morning, day, and night. We should not continue to be men that will be with God today, tomorrow, with with without God. With God today, tomorrow without God. We must do away with our instability. We must come again to God, our Savior and our Father. We must come to God with all honesty. The Bible says, if you love me, if you love God, you will do the will of God. Doing the will of God is not a thing of optional traits. It is a thing that we know that we are supposed to is a life that we are supposed to carry 
without anybody forcing us to do so. I pray that the grace to be able to hold high principles of God, to follow the commandment of God, may the Lord give unto each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless his word for the salvation and edification of our soul in Jesus' name. God bless the whole world from Asia, Africa, Oceania, um, Europe, North America, South America, and Antarctica in the name of Jesus. All the families and persons of the world, you are highly blessed and favored today in Jesus' name. Amen.